Okay, so this is just a random rat. I call it rat number 30. And um, all I really want to say is that exercise is good for avoiding psychosis. Psychosis is when you have a break from reality. And reality, I will define as having three components. The imaginary component, the physical component, which is based on your body, and the spiritual component, which is based on things that you can't control. So that would be trends in society and laws and stuff like that. And they're not the same, so maybe I shouldn't call it the spiritual component. Let me call it the exo self component. Right. The imaginary component, however, is part of yourself, and the physical body is something which you have, you think you have the right control over it, but it's really indirect because you come from willpower through um, various systems in order to execute control over your body. If you have full control of your body, then you'd be able to just look at something somebody else does and do it immediately. I mean, if you're a highly trained dancer, you can probably look at a dance and copy it. But um, unless you're highly trained in the area, you can't look at the motions that somebody does and immediately copy them. You have to train in their domain, at the very least, if not train their particular style and system. And so what, what that shows is that you have to develop certain parts of your brain in particular ways and you have to develop certain abilities. It's not only a matter of developing parts of your brain, you're also developing your, your muscular muscular system, your nervous systems, which includes the ANS, the CNS and the ENS. The ENS is the etheric nervous system and the um CNS is the central nervous system. The ENS is the autonomous nervous system and um I'm not really going to focus too much on that. It's set to say that the etheric nervous system is also known as the second brain. And I actually have a video to watch about that, even though I found out about it, a lot about it. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't been trying to focus too much on videos is because I had a lot of health challenges and other challenges. Um, I had equipment challenges too. But um, mostly it was health challenges. I've been dealing with something called URS, which causes a lot of other problems. Um, one of them also caught also being mood disorders because it affects your neurotransmitter levels and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't really said too much about it because um, I have to put things in a way that is coherent and easily understandable. I understand it enough to work with it but this understanding is more of a uh, intuitive understanding than it is a rational understanding. So although it works perfectly fine for me, it's difficult to transfer it to someone else because it doesn't go through the language center. So I have to actually develop my language and um, spend time relating to my intuitive center in order to get information that can be um, useful within wider society so that I can present it. What you're seeing now is one of the videos in the background from Bipolar Waking Up, which is, as you said, related to it because they're looking at Although they're, they're claimed they're looking at bipolar disorder, the information is generally useful if you want to look at how the mind works and so on. So you don't need to have problems with bipolar disorder or any other mental disorder in order to look at the videos and gain something from it. There are uh, a lot of them. Um, they're less than 10 minutes each though, so you can take your time and watch whatever you want. Um, yeah. Now as to the gameplay videos and so on that I've been making, there are basically three sets. There's the Persona related videos, um, there's the Final Fantasy IX videos, and there's Cartier. Cartier was requested by Valor77. I'd forgotten how slow and boring that game is. Um, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get back to Cartier. I'll probably do it while I'm making something else. So I'll do the game and make something and compare the two. Um, so that may not be until summer, the earliest, and that's if I do not travel. I'm trying to travel next year because um, I like Japan and I plan to go back and I also want to spend more time in England. Alright, so uh, as for Japan, I guess I can put up some pictures and talk about Japan later on. I was there for 54 days and also three days in England both ways, so a total of six days in England, so I had a 60 day journey. Yeah, uh, and that was very adventurous, a lot of interesting happened, it was a lot of fun, met some new people, and opened up um, opened up my mind some more and stuff. It actually took me longer to get accustomed to being back in Barbados than it did to being in Japan. Japan feels more like home than Barbados does to me. 
and the fact that nobody speaks the language doesn't matter because everybody speaks the universal languages of courtesy and respect and such and um except in wherever those they don't really speak so much courtesy and respect so that's why I more prefer um, Japan to Barbados so that's basically it um, even though people superficially speak a different language you can always learn this another spoken language and Japanese in terms of day-to-day -day interaction is very easy to learn because the pronunciation is exact and they, there's the standard language is a standard language and the standard ways of behavior are the standard ways of behavior so it doesn't vary from region to region of course what I said is also a lie because there is actually a lot of different dialects in different regions but if you speak Japanese and you understand um, standard Japanese then you can basically get by very well to me a lot easier than English because there isn't really such a thing as standard English we say there's standard English but what we Bajans call standard English is based on um, what they speak in the UK but but the speed and the enunciation is totally different. Similarly, there's a difference between Bayesian English, Bayesian Standard English, and American Standard English. If there is such a thing as American Standard English, because you know you all have this Urban English and Ebonics English and Southern English and other stuff. So English has so many different variants and no standard. But Jap Jap Japanese to me has a standard. Um, which probably was around from ancient times basically so even though there's dialects and even the Kansai dialect which is really popular in um, for example in Osaka and the cool dialect and whatever that doesn't impede you from progressing because everybody knows the standard anyhow that's just my overview of um, Japan What's this? Amazing, you must try this instant realization of this Kodi song meditation. I guess you should actually turn up the song if you want to listen to it. Yeah, I just clicked on something random. Anyhow, um, I'm going to go and take a shower because I went to the gym earlier. So, look forward to more rants until I actually finish setting up um, to do more um, gameplay videos. What I'll probably do is record a lot of gameplay videos and then edit them over time. That's probably the easiest thing to do, and I'll probably do voiceovers then in a separate phase, which will take more time when you add it up, but it'll end up with a more professional sounding outcome, and allow me to also, well, sort of force me to work on my network, because I'd have to be transferring files from one computer to the other, so make me brush up on my next working skills. So all in all, you know, it'll be a good thing overall, because there'll be more development, more infrastructural development within my studio. Um, so to react, react to recap, um, one way of avoiding psychosis is making sure to get enough rest, making sure to exercise um, not only alone but it's best to exercise in a group setting, a small group setting, a personal trainer helps or a friend that is more experienced with you with gym equipment or whatever and make sure to do it, I would recommend at least three times a week and you should also do something on your own for relaxation at least once a day, at least 15 minutes soon after you wake up. Uh, make sure to have breakfast in the morning and make sure to get adequate rest, which may require drastic changes to your lifestyle. Like I can say this because I'm a student, so I don't work. And um, I'm not I'm not a college student, I'm a university student, so I have like limited classes and I don't have to go to most of my classes. So I can have a lot of flexibility in my time. I just do what I want to basically. Yeah. Um, if you're a lot younger and you have to go to work or to go to school like 60 hours a day or something, then um, I'm sorry, but you're probably lost. Yeah. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, I'll come back to society and what they're doing to the children who are going to be broken forever in other videos, maybe. Mm. Thank goodness I don't have any children. Alright, bye-bye.